Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss one numerical based on linear time invariant systems. So the question will be, so that the system is linear time invariant system and the system equation is given as y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 2 for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n smaller than 0 right so this is the question now let's check whether this system is linear or not fine so for inputs x1 of n and x2 of n what will be the corresponding outputs y1 of n and y2 of n right so let's calculate this too so y1 of n will become what it will become basically x1 of n plus x1 of n minus 2 right for n greater than equal to 0 and y2 of n will become what so in y2 of n the input is what x2 of n so it will be equal to x2 of n plus x2 of n minus 2 for what for n greater than equal to 0 clear fine now what you have to calculate basically you have to calculate the weighted sum of outputs it means what you have to calculate a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n so let's calculate this so when you calculate this what you will get a1 into what x1 of n plus x1 of n minus 2 right y1 of n is equal to this correct plus a2 into y2 of n so in the place of y2 of n you have to place this right so it will become x2 of n plus x2 of n minus 2 hope this is clear to you so this is what the weighted sum of outputs let's say this is equation number one the weighted sum of outputs now what you have to calculate you have to calculate the output due to weighted sum of inputs fine so let's calculate this so let's say the output is represented as y3 of n which is basically what weighted sum of output due to weighted sum of inputs so here this will become what transform of a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n right and this will be equal to what so here in this case what you have to do basically in place of x of n basically this should come right this whole thing will come so this will be equal to what this will be equal to a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n right and plus now we have another term which is what x of n minus 2 so it will be it will become what a1 into x1 of n minus 2 plus a2 into x2 of n minus 2 right so this is what our second equation so if you see both equation both are exactly same so from here what we got to know is y3 of n is equal to what a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n okay you simply just open it up 
and when you compare it will be equal it is equal right so this is equal so if this is equal so you can say like a system our system is what linear system is what a linear system so our one part is done we got to know like okay boss this system is what a linear system fine now what we have to find out whether it is time invariant system or not so for that what you have to calculate basically you have to calculate two things first the output due to delayed input right and the delayed output this two you have to calculate correct so the output due to delayed input by m units right so you have to represent this by y of n comma m which is basically what equal to y of n at when x of n is equal to what x of n minus m so basically we have already seen these approaches in our last lectures so this is what a combined approach to find whether the system is lti system or not so y of n comma m means what y of n when x of n is equal to x of n minus m means due to delayed input so this will be what simple this will become x of n minus m plus x of n minus 2 minus m so simply we have the equation at first right so simply wherever x of n is present re change it with x of n minus m so we are doing the same thing fine so this we have calculated now we have to calculate the delayed output so the delayed output means what y of n minus m you have to calculate which is basically nothing but y of n when n is equal to n minus m so wherever term n is present just replace with n minus m so if you follow this it will become what x of n minus m plus x of n minus m minus 2 right now you have to compare this two this one and this two see both are equal it means it means what y of n comma m is equal to what y of n minus m so if i say simply so the output due to delayed input is equal to the delayed output here fine so our system is what our system is basically a time invariant system time invariant so overall we got to know like our system is what a lti system means linear also and time invariant also so hope this numerical is clear to you so if you have any doubt in this particular question you can ask in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you